Hello everyone. Today, let's explore the Silicon Controlled Rectifier, or SCR. It's a widely used semiconductor device, especially in power control and switching applications. Introduction to SCR. The Silicon Controlled Rectifier, or SCR, is essentially a type of thyristor, which is a four-layer semiconductor device with alternating layers of P-type and N-type materials. In this diagram, you can see the four layers, P and PN. It has three main terminals, the anode, A, cathode, K, and the gate, G. These terminals are crucial for controlling and switching the device on or off. Symbol of SCR. Now, look at the top center part of the image. This is the symbol of an SCR. It looks like a diode with an additional terminal, the gate, which branches off to the right. The anode is connected to the P-type layer, while the cathode is connected to the N-type layer at the other end. The gate terminal, which is connected to the inner P-type layer, is used to control the device. Applying a small current to the gate can activate the SCR, allowing a larger current to flow between the anode and cathode. SCR Structure To the left, we see the structure of the SCR, showing the four-layer configuration, P and PN. There are three junctions within the device, labeled as J1, J2, and J3. When the anode is positive with respect to the cathode, the junctions J1 and J3 become forward biased, but the middle junction J2 is reverse biased. This setup keeps the SCR in its OFF state until we apply a small gate current. Working principle and IV characteristics. The bottom part of the image displays the current voltage, IV, characteristics of the SCR. Let's break this down. Initially, with no gate current, the SCR is in the forward blocking region, meaning it's off and doesn't conduct any significant current. When we apply a positive gate current, the device switches to its own state by allowing current to flow from the anode to the cathode. This transition is known as latching. After latching, even if we remove the gate signal, the SCR will remain on as long as the current through it stays above a certain threshold, known as the holding current, represented as I underscore H in the graph. The curve shows the different states, from the forward blocking region to the reverse blocking region, and finally to the on state when the SCR is conducting fully. The voltage required to keep the SCR conducting is known as V underscore TM, the threshold voltage, and once this is exceeded, the device stays on until the current drops below the holding level. Equivalent model of SCR is two transistors. On the right side, we see another representation of the SCR. This time, it's depicted as two interconnected transistors, Q1 and Q2. This configuration helps to understand how the SCR works internally. When a small gate current is applied, it turns on Q2, which then triggers Q1. Together, they create a positive feedback loop, keeping each other on and allowing current to flow between the anode and cathode. Summary In summary, the SCR is a powerful device that can be used to control high power in circuits. By applying a small gate signal, we can control large currents between the anode and cathode, making SCRs ideal for applications like motor control, lamp dimming, and even in rectifiers. I hope this explanation has helped you understand the basics of SCRs, from their structure and symbol to their IV characteristics and transistor model. Thanks for watching, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below.